Hey guys, it's Derek from the Olive Oil Co. Have you ever wanted a BLT, but you kind of want some pasta, and you're kind of thinking of a salad? Well, we're taking all three and we're mashing them together. We are making a BLT pasta salad. Before I even get to the products you'll need, what you want to do is get a big pot on your stove with a nice amount of water in it so we can cook up our pasta, get that ready. But from our store, you will need the garlic infused olive oil. Honestly, what else can I say about the garlic infused oil? You can use it for almost anything except ice cream and desserts. I, I wouldn't mix the savory with the sweet like that, unless you have a way to do that, great. Um, other than that, for products you will need, we are actually using some bacon from Husel Meats. Uh, they're located on Pearl Street in Brantford, uh, just by the Polish Hall. Also, you can find them at the Brantford Market. What's great about their bacon is it is nitrate free. So honestly, how can you get any better than that? Put our pan at about medium high. The bacon can cook in its own fat. Honestly, with this bacon though, it smells like a campfire. So nice and warm and cozy. So we're gonna get these pieces of bacon all nice and cozy in the pan. And we'll come back to this once they're all nice and crispy. Water's boiling. As you all know by now, the rule is salt it like an Italian nonna. Basically, you want your water to taste like the ocean. So if it doesn't taste like the ocean, you don't have enough salt in it. Next, we are going to throw our bag of pasta in because we had a bag kind of explode on us. I'm just going to pop some in here, like so. And we'll let that cook. For the dressing, it's really easy, guys. It's three ingredients. You first need the garlic olive oil in your container. We're just gonna blitz it all in here. You need some Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. Just gonna pop that in there. And some lemon juice. You wanna blend this up until it's perfectly smooth. As you can see, we've already got our pasta in the bowl here. It is cooked to perfect al dente. Uh, we have our bacon bits already here, so we're just gonna throw these in. Next, you will need to take either some cherry or grape tomatoes. We just cut these in half so we can pop these in on top. Decided to go with the tricolor, make it look even prettier. Uh, next, you wanna take um, some basil, we just uh, tore up some bits here so you can just sprinkle that. This is fresh from our garden, by the way. Next, you will need some feta cheese. We're just gonna crumble this on top. And then we're just gonna pour our dressing right over top. We've got a nice beautiful green color from the olive oil. Get that nice saltiness from the Parmigiano Reggiano. And then we are going to take our spoons and just mix it all up. Oh my gosh. This salad smells amazing. Usually you don't hear someone say that a salad smells amazing, but this does. In fact, this whole bowl is mine. No, I'm not gonna do that. But, of course, you gotta try some. Get a nice bit of feta on there with the pasta, a piece of tomato. We got some basil in there. Mm. Mm -hmm. There isn't a lot of ingredients, but that's the beauty of a really good recipe. You don't need much to make something taste absolutely delicious. This is perfect for summer or any time of year, really. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and we'll see you next time. is get a nice big pot full of water on your stove to boil. 
Hey guys, it's Derek from the Olive Oil Co.